Welcome back to MedCrime and today we shall be looking at the classification of beta blockers and the mnemonics to help you master these classes and the examples. Beta blockers are a class of drugs used in treatment of hypertension, also known as beta adrenergic blocking agents. These beta blockers work by blocking the neurotransmitters norepinephrine and epinephrine from binding to the beta receptors. Here we have three types of beta receptors. The beta 1 receptors which are located in the heart and the kidneys. The beta 2 receptors are located mainly in the lungs, the gastrointestinal tract, the liver, the uterus and the muscles, both the small muscles and the skeletal muscles. And lastly, the beta 3 adrenergic receptors found in the fat cells. Let's classify beta blockers. We can classify them into three classes. There's the first generation beta blockers which are non-selective in nature, meaning they work on both beta 1 and beta 2 adrenergic receptors. The second generation beta blockers are cardioselective. This simply means that they work by blocking the beta-1 adrenergic receptors in heart. And other beta blockers have a quinidine-like or anesthetic-like membrane stabilizing action, which affects the cardiac action potentials. We also have a third generation beta blockers. Let's start with the cardioselective beta blockers. Cardioselective beta blockers only work on beta-1 receptors that are located in the heart. And the mnemonic to help you master these is Newer exclusive beta blockers are acting mainly cardioselectively. Let's break down this mnemonic. N stands for nebivolol, E for asmolol, B for betaxolol, again B for bisobro, A for atenolol, the second A for acebitolol, M for metoprolol, and C for seliprolol. The second class is the beta blockers with partial agonist properties. This type of beta blockers, for you to remember, you use the mnemonic contain partial agonist like property. C in this mnemonic stands for seliprolo and catiolo, P for pendolo, A for acebutolo, and L for labetalo, and lastly P for penbutolo. The third classification are the beta blockers with local anesthetic property or the ones which possess a membrane stabilizing property. For you to remember these, you use the mnemonic possess local anesthetic membrane property. Let's break it down. P stands for propanolol, L for labetalol, A for acebutolol, M for metoprolol, and P for pindolol. If you are keen, you should have noted that propanolol has only a local anesthetic property and in this class propanolol has the maximum membrane stabilizing activity. Metoprolol possesses cardioselectivity and a membrane stabilizing property meaning that it is found in two classes. Labetalol and pindolol possess partial agonist properties and a membrane stabilizing properties. And lastly, acebutolol possesses all the three properties that cardioselectivity, partial agonism and membrane stabilizing activity. Thank you for watching our videos and if you like our videos, you like, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. You can also find us on our social media platform as YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, all at MedCrime.